All right, good morning, everybody. It is the AMI Spreaker for Wednesday, April 4th. Hope you guys are having a great week. It's the middle of the week. Hope you've been productive, and if not, I hope you're figuring out what to do to make the rest of your week productive. You know how it goes. Find one thing you can do the next hour, one thing you can do the next day, and one thing you can do for the rest of the week. It'll just it'll get you back where you need to be or move you forward. And uh, actually I actually have a, a tip on that today. And um, what I want to talk about today is changing your perspective to embrace the suck. Um, this is something I was thinking about last night. And let me explain what that means. I know you can take that statement as is a bunch of different ways. And uh, there's going to be a gratuitous name drop here. So uh, if you're not into that, go ahead and shut this off right now. But um, so another way to phrase that is appreciate the good things uh, of a situation. And I'll give you an example of why I was thinking about this. So last night, um, you know, I, I, I'll admit I overdid it. The, the barbell cert was really difficult, and I, I kind of detailed in on Facebook why it was why it was challenging physically and mentally for me personally just because, you know, I've been, I've been doing a lot of work recently, you know, with trying to get Viking Ninja stuff done, trying to get my own stuff done. Haven't been sleeping much. Uh, had a lot of office work. And, and, and this isn't like a woe was me. It's just saying there's a lot of stuff going on. So I was pretty taxed already going to it. It was a very challenging cert. And I was pretty tired. And so, you know, I took Monday off. I was still kind of nyi. But Tuesday, I was like, all right, I'm going to jiu-jitsu. I got to go to jiu-jitsu because, you know, I, you know I, I just want to do it. You know, I mean, Viking Ninja Martial Arts. Woo. But um, so I was not 100% last night at all, like even remotely. And uh, but one of the things that I, I have challenged myself to do <clears throat> for a personal growth is to always do stand-up rounds at jiu-jitsu. Um, if, if we have a stand-up corner, I always try to be... Like in the first couple rounds, and I was try to go. I was try to go two rounds. I was try to go a full ten minutes of stand up. Um, it's good cardio. It's good mental, and it just it's one of those things that for me because I'm so bad at it. It um it really just helps tamp that ego down and kind of puts you in a place where it's like okay, well you you can earn this back. You just you but it's gonna take work. You know, it's just that example of I need to work. So, like I said, definitely not optimal time to do it last night. But I was like, you know what, this this is what I said I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna do it. And uh, so the first round was me. Uh, second round, coach comes in. One of the coaches comes in. I'm my coach, Josh. And uh, I was like, oh, God, this is just going to be terrible. And, and, and it was. I mean, it, it, you know, it, it, it's interesting because when, when you're going against somebody who's just that much better than you and you get a sense of how effortless, you know, their work is, it, I mean, it, it messes with you. And so there are a couple of ways I could have looked at that. I could have looked at this like, well, of course I'm getting my ass whipped. Like these guys are way better than me. Or I could have looked at it, but the way I chose to look at it was, wow, and incoming. Wow. I, I get to like, I get to wrestle with a guy who was one of GSP's sparring partners for his last camp. How cool is that? You know? And that's an, and obviously that's an extreme example, but you think about those things. And when, when you're in, in that sort of situation, especially like I said, if you're on a growth and development path, because guys, we all know this growth and development are hard. Whether, you know, you're trying to grow a business, grow or develop a business, grow or develop yourself personally, grow or develop a skill, grow or develop your family, your relationships, it, it's work. And even when everything is, you know, every, even when everything is going smoothly, it, it's still work. You know, you still have to be present, you still have to be engaged, and you still have to be, I, I'm, I'm using this word less and less, I, like, I don't like it so much in words, you still have to be mindful, right? And holding on to those things is what allows you to actually make those perspective changes, you know, being, being able to be present and really look at the situation and say, oh, wait a minute, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Rather than God, everything just sucks right now. I mean, there's, there's opportunity in everything for the most part. I mean, if you're, you know, if you're able-bodied in control and, you know, you, for the most part, you're, you know, your business is handled at least, you know, I, I guess maybe, you know, you got your Maslow's met and all that. Um, there's opportunities everywhere. So, that's my advice. I mean, you know, I mean, if you, you know, maybe you make that your one thing for the next hour is just to like think about where you are, and if you're not happy with that, like make that perspective shift, and maybe that'll springboard you into what you do for the day and what you do for the rest of the week. Um, so that's what I got. Cheers.